Let us now define the material of the collar. It is done by right-clicking materials in the model builder pane and selecting add material. Then click built in in the add material pane and scroll down to the steel AISI 4340. Then click add to component. It will now be added to all domains of the problem. It is now time to define the boundary conditions. We will start with defining a uniform pressure on the top surface of the collar. This will be changed later for the hydrodynamic pressure computed by means of the Reynolds equation when we have added this physics. Right click solid mechanics in the model 3 and select boundary load. You may need to close the add material pane in order to see the graphics pane depicting the geometry of the collar at this stage. Now click on the two patches of the top of this collar and you will see that surfaces 6 and 12 get selected in the boundary load pane. If you scroll down you can select pressure as the load type in the force section. Do that and type in 1E6 for the pressure. Let's now fix the bottom surface of the collar by specifying a fixed constraint boundary condition. Rotate the collar geometry in the graphics pane and click the patches on the bottom surface there. 5 and 11 will show up as selected in the fixed constraint pane. The vertical faces of the collar at theta 0 and theta equal theta p should exhibit periodic displacements. Therefore, we add periodic boundary conditions to those surfaces. Again, right-click Solid Mechanics in the Model 3 and then select Periodic Condition. Click the Equation Foldout menu and you will find that the quantity, which is assumed to be periodic, is the displacement field. That is, the destination value U underscore DST equals the source value U underscore SRC. Now click the vertical faces on the color geometry and you will find boundaries 1 and 13 selected for this boundary condition. Let us also add boundary load boundary conditions to all other surfaces as they would be subjected to an ambient pressure in reality. In this example the ambient pressure should be specified as PA. It is time to generate a mesh. You will do this by clicking the Mesh 1 branch in the Model 3 or by clicking the Mesh tab. With the Mesh pane in the middle, leave the settings as default and click Build All. We should generate a final mesh at a later stage to test mesh convergence properties of the model. It is now possible to simulate the specified load condition and to examine the results. To proceed, we click the Study 1 branch in the Model 3 and then we click the Compute button in the Study pane in the middle. The same button can be found on the Home tab too. Console now solves the problem and when done, you will see the contours of the von Mises stress on the boundaries of the collar geometry. You will also see that the geometry has been deformed since you have a wireframe representing the initial geometry of the collar. The deformation is heavily exaggerated in order to be able to see it. There are some stress concentrations at the edges of the segments of the fixed bottom surface. 